All right, so let's see if we can do number 49 out of 5.1, which says the natural log of 3x squared equals 8. And they want us to what? Solve for x. X, x probably. OK, so you guys should notice, right? This is like, this thing's a function, yeah? That thing's also a function. It's a really boring one, right? Like this one's a horizontal line. Mm -hmm. This one's some other more complicated thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, when does this other more complicated thing hit the horizontal line? You guys see that? So all else fails, I could like throw this in a graphing calculator or into Wolfram Alpha or something and then like approximate at least. But I think we can do a little better algebraically here. So thoughts, things, what do you know? Okay, so you could get rid of the natural log by applying the inverse function to natural log, right? Which is going to be what? So you're going to put e to the stuff on both sides. So this will do e to the log of 3x squared is e to the a. And then e and log, right, are inverse functions. Yeah. So those undo one another. So I really get 3x squared is e to the 8. You guys see that? There's other ways. Lots of which are right. Yeah, and I would advise on this one for divide by 3, ah, what the hell, multiply by a third. Get x squared is e to the eighth over 3, and then what? Square root plus square minus. Square root both sides. Hit both sides with a plus or minus square root. So you'll get x is plus or minus the square root of e to the, oops, e to the what? Eight. 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 All over three. So it's a parabola. Maybe? Probably not. <laughs> so, the, yeah, the plus or minus kind of, kind of reminds me of parabolas in my head, right? You guys see that? Mm -hmm. So really, this part here was me asking, when does this parabola hit this horizontal line? But that was just a step on the way, right? I unlogged both sides originally. This function is probably not a parabola. In fact, it's definitely not a parabola. But this problem about this function hitting that horizontal line is the same, right? Contains the same information as when this parabola hits this different horizontal line. You guys see that? So we're kind of <coughs> changing our functions around here, but that picture stays the same. Cool? Good? Okay, so these are your two answers. This is probably the best you can do. What should you check at the end? Yeah, either one of them will work. Yeah, you should probably check and make sure they're both going to work in here, right? So I did some stuff to both sides. I want to make sure that in that process I didn't lose something. So if I cram one of those numbers in here for x squared, for x, sorry, I square it first, right? That's going to get rid of your plus or minus things. Should we just do that? Let's plug it in. So we have log of 3, and then we have plus or minus the square root of e to the eighth over 3, all squared. And we're wondering, maybe this is 8? So this would be log of 3 times e to the 8th over 3. The 3's will one be out, right? You guys with me on that? And then this is log of e to the 8th, which is 8. Which it better be, right? Yeah. Like, I hope this works. What I'm looking for most there is not, does this not work? But is mostly, is there a, like, something I'm trying to feed to a logarithm that the logarithm doesn't know how to eat? Okay, see that? Like, logarithms know how to eat positive stuff that's strictly bigger than zero, right? If I had had a negative in here, 
then the log wouldn't know how to eat it, and I'd have to scrap one of my answers. You guys see that? Did I get your confusion there, Lauren? Yeah, could you do um, ln or natural log 3 plus the ln x squared? Yeah, sure. Let's try this slightly it. different way. So another option, instead of e in both sides yeah. at the beginning, is you can apply a log rule at the beginning. Ooh. And the answer is going to look a lot different. Yeah, because I'm nowhere near that. OK, so you do a log rule, right? And you get natural log of 3 plus natural log of x squared equals 8, right? OK, then what? You can throw the natural log of 3 on the other side and pull the 2 out of the other side. Is that what you did? Yeah. OK, so you oh, can. Oh, I didn't pull the 2 out. OK. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, you did? I divided it on the 8 side. OK, yeah, you'll do that in a second, maybe. Okay. So I think I have two things I can do right now. I could use a log rule to pull this two down. And I can move that thing to the other side by subtracting it, right? Because this is just a number. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a log rule and subtract log of three from both sides. So I'll get two natural log of x is eight minus natural log of 3. And then you divided the 2 to the other side? Yes. Okay, so then you multiply both sides by a half. So you get the natural log of x is 8 minus the natural log of 3 divided by 2. Yep. Yep. And then... Yeah, and then you got to get the x out, right? So you got to unlog both sides... So you eat this stuff oh, both sides. Like stuff. Yeah, yeah okay. that was our last step. So you get all that to the e, so. e to the all of eight minus log of oh, I did do that. three over two, and then this just looks way different, right? Yeah. And you oh, so that's right. I actually got it. And you get the same answer. Okay. Oh wait, hang on. Oh right, no, you don't. But well, that's the that answer right there that you plug into your calc is the um, the same answer in the back of the book. So they put it in decimal form in the back, and it's three point or thirty one point five two two. So, what is the issue here? Why am I why am I hesitating? Because you, you see the natural log up there, but it doesn't apply because it's uh, five something. No, no. Yeah. My concern is this. When I did this the first time, how many answers did I end up with? Two. 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 How many answers do I have right now? One. One. Does that help? Which means well, the positive one is only the square root. You didn't square, square root. You square root. You square root. You square root. You square root. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I got two x's, right? Yeah, but the positive one only counts. Yeah, and this is the positive x I had before. You guys all see that? Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, where'd the minus one go? It, you can't log a negative, right? Yeah, I can't log a negative, but I'm, not, I'm just logging three here, right? And before, I wasn't having a concern about logging the negatives. So I think I lost something here. Oh, and I lost something right here. When I pulled that 2 down. You too. You guys see that? You could. I put a 2 up front, but really I should have had log of plus or minus x in here. That's a little esoteric. I'm not worried about that for you guys. Why? Is that part of one of the log rules that we can? No, I should just be scared because I pulled a squaring down, right? You guys see that? I pulled that down, and that's true for positive x's, but it's not true for negative x's, right? Okay. You guys see that? And normally I wouldn't have to worry about feeding negative x's into here, but that square lets me put negative x's in there. So I should be maybe a little careful with this. What if? And I don't want you guys to worry about this too much. So if you go the one way, you'll end up with a plus or minus. If you go this way, you won't. And I'm okay with this. Okay. So if you just did this way and you didn't do the square root way, then you wouldn't. Um, yeah, I'm okay with you, know? you guys not noticing that. Okay. Right. Again, right? If you're doing things in real world application and you want to be absolutely sure that you've hit everything, Let's graph both of these, double check ask a computer algebra system to solve. If they get another answer, wonder what that means in terms of your system. That's cool? Okay. Because yeah, I graphed it and I got 
pretty much dead on on the decimal form, and I didn't. On this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how would you if you graph that function, how would you get the negative value on the Should be able to see it when you zoom out. You would speed when that people. Oh, because why? Okay, never mind. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good stuff.